we're here in Central Oregon. I'm with Chad. We're at CNC Nursery. We're here in Sisters. And Chad, you know, you guys deal with a lot of a little harsher conditions over here on the east side of the Cascades than we do in, in the valley. Not only do you have the deer, but you have some weather issues you need to address also. We do. We can get a good 50 degree swing most days. Um, we can go from frost to 80 degrees. Um, so yeah, the plant, even though the zone for here, a lot of times you can get a little plant stress just because of the swing of temperature. Right, and it's, it gets a lot colder in here. So there's some things we need to kind of look at that don't necessarily in the valley can survive over here. So you know, today you've kind of picked out a great selection of plants that do work great over here in Central Oregon. They can also work in the valley too. But. They sure can, yeah. These are, these are kind of a little few of our more bulletproof items that we sell. Um, right here in front, this is kind of a tried and true uh, Old Gold Juniper. That one, it does get a little bit out of control sometimes, but if you keep it, keep it sheared, um, it has beautiful yellow foliage in the in the fall in the winter time. Pairs up nicely with uh, with a blue spruce. This one here happens to be uh, a Montgomery blue spruce. That one will, will become a small shrub tree, about eight to ten feet tall eventually. But it looks like a kind of a little bit like a right. blue spruce. And there's some nice great colors too. You know, to get those con contrasting colors. They are some great contrasting colors, especially in the winter time when all the deciduous shrubs are are bare and just uh, sticks essentially. Right. And then the one one with the yellow there. This one here is a Goldfinger Potentilla. This is a fabulous one. That one will, will get uh, four to five feet tall, about three, four feet wide. Um, deer seem to stay away from it for the most part, most areas, and you get a nice color all, all summer long. You know, and, and the Barberry here provides a lot of great color too. It does. This one here happens to be a Rosy Glow Barberry. This one here has uh, some good height to it. Um, it'll get four to five feet tall and gives you a nice uh, mottled contrasting colors as well. Uh, yeah, Barberries are great deer resistant plant as well. You know, and it's, you know, you get some of these shrubs in here, but there's a lot of other like textures, like some of the, some of the grasses you can put in. The grass is amazing. You know, you would think the deer would eat the grasses, but uh, this one here happens to be uh, Calmagrosis uh, Carl Forster. That's a fabulous one. You kind of see it right here, kind of mature. It uh, gets about two feet wide, five feet tall, has a nice creamy, creamy uh, wheat seed head right, on it. That, the texture when it's blown in the, in the wind. It's amazing. Is great. Couple and that with the blue oak grass, which will be a kind of medium size grass, three to four feet tall, has a nice oat seed head that was just kind of blows in the wind. And I thought this was kind of fun. You, you know, you brought out hops and I wouldn't have thought you would be able to able to do hops. Hops are amazing. You know, for the most part, they're fairly deer resistant. They do, they will nibble on them a little bit, but they have that nice uh, rough texture on the leaf. Um, they, they do extremely well. We yeah. use it a lot of times for, for a nice climbing vine. Yeah, and just take it up over an arbor and you know it's you get the you get the hopped on it in the fall. So. Yeah, nice little flower. It's wonderful. And then there's still a lot of color you can add, you know, as, as far as perennial color. There is. Uh, right out front we've got cat mint. That one there happens to be uh, Persian blue cat mint. That's a nice small rounded uh, one to two foot wide, one to two feet tall. Blooms all summer, attracts the bees. Um, yeah, that's a wonderful one. And then we have uh, this guy right here is uh, Walker's, Walker's Low. Low. It gets about two and a half feet tall, uh, two feet wide. Just blooms, blooms all summer till till frost. It'll bloom for us all the way up till November a lot of times. Oh, really? Just take off some of the some of the spent blossoms as they come along, and then you'll get a nice rebloom. And then you have a couple other goodies over on the shelf. We do. Too. This one here is a moonshine yarrow. This one here is a nice uh, yellow color. The deer seem to stay off of it. The the leaf is a little little sturdier, a little stronger. A lot of the the colored varieties, the pinks and some of the kind of the fun colors, they will eat those. They're more oh, really? little, little softer foliage. But the moonshine, they seem to stay off of. Um, this one here has a lamium as a ground cover. This one here happens to be purple dragon, has kind of a nice uh, lavender purple flower, which is that beautiful contrasting color, that silver. This is a great uh, deer resistant, shade tolerant ground cover. And then it looks like one, one more over there, the Ru is that Russian sage? That is Russian sage. This is a great, uh, Deer resistant also, just because of oil in the leaf. Um, this one here is just your straight proboscia. It'll get uh, four to five feet tall. Loves the hot heat. Um, it'll take abuse on a nice southern exposure against a building or whatnot. Right. So you know, there's such a wide selection. You know, the people tend to think that you know they're pretty limited about what they can plant over here, but there's actually quite a lot there is they can a, they can do. There is a nice variety of plants. Um, Echinacea is another great one. Deer are kind of 50-50 on that guy, but that gives you a nice late season color. And they come in yellows, whites, pinks, purples. Um, and then you have the black-eyed Susans, uh, which are 
right. another right fall color. You know, so you know, make sure you come out and visit Chad and the staff out here at CNC Nursery. You know, there's a great selection. So if you're coming, th run through town or have a vacation home over here, you know, a lot of the stuff survives in the valley, and it also works out here into in Central Oregon. So Chad, we appreciate being out here. Thank and, you. And seeing the great, great color you have and great plants. So thank you. Look forward to seeing everybody. Thank you.